Hey, welcome back. This is class number four at Beginning Photography. So today we're going to talk about depth of field as well as um, different drive modes. So I'll start with drive modes. Um, there are numerous drive modes in your camera. It's basically how is your camera going to take a picture. So is it going to be on a timer? Is it going to be continuous shots like if you had a sporting event or need to catch some fast action? Or is it just a single shot when you're just taking pictures here and there? So right now I'm going to show you where to find those drive modes on your camera. Grab your manual and look up drive modes in the index. Here's mine. It says the drive modes are on page 89, so go to whatever page your index says. So I'm going to flip there. And it's going to tell me all about the different drive modes that I have. On my camera, I have a single shooting drive mode, high speed, continuous shooting drive mode, low speed shooting drive mode, self timer, 10 second delay, and then a self timer, a two second delay. So on my camera, I'll show you where that's at. Um, there's a button at the top that says drive. I'm going to go ahead and push that and I can change the different drive modes with my dial depending on what see on the bottom left hand corner depending on what I want to do okay so for um, the homework assignment for drive modes I want you to go outside um, and get in front of a sporting event or some animals playing even like a pair of dogs. I'm going to take my dogs out in a minute and I'll show you um, the results I got from that. So use your high speed drive mode. That's the one that has the rectangles stacked on top of each other with the H by it if you have that on yours. You'll be able to just hold down your shutter button and your camera is going to continually take pictures as long as it can until you let go or until the processor in your camera is overloaded and it needs a break so it needs time to process. Um, a single shot which is just kind of just point and shooting it's pretty easy and also a timer so I want you to get a tripod or set it picture of yourself. So I'm going to show you right now what I did this afternoon to give you guys an example. So I'll see you guys in a second. Bye. Okay, so I set up my tripod, put my camera on it, and recorded my dog in high-speed drive mode by just pushing down the shutter button. And as you can see, the uh, image of my dog is clear and crisp. There aren't any um, move motion blurs anywhere. And you can just see her running up. So my finger was on the shutter button the whole time and my camera was automatically taking multiple pictures and it will until the processor is overloaded and is transferring um, the images to the CF card. And this image right here is the one I took with a timer and I did a self-portrait with my dog. Okay, now we're going to talk about depth of field. Depth of field is the acceptable range of focus you have in your picture. So this can be controlled using your aperture. Aperture was also one of our vocabulary words and we haven't really learned about that yet. We're going to learn it in um, probably the next lesson or the next one. So at this time I'm going to have you go outside and go for a walk. You can also change your depth of field using your lens. Now that we've got a, a basic zoom lens um, comes in and out. If you want to zoom further up, you twist it. Um, you're going to get a change of depth of field in this as well. So go outside and I want you to take 25 pictures of the depth of field when it is very small, so zoomed up very close. So this would be um, bugs or flowers or anything of that sort. It's going to give a really fuzzy background and foreground, but it's not um, not going to have everything in focus. 
You can see at the one foot mark the chess pieces are in focus. In the foreground and the background they are out of focus. That is a very small depth of field. Your um, lens is going to be put back all the way. This is going to give your depth of field a really long distance so that you can see a lot of things in focus. So down Main Street you want to see everything on the side of the street. It's going to be all in um, focus. So 25 of those, 25 shots close up so you can see the difference of depth of field and then we'll be talking about aperture at another time. So I'm going to re review real quick. Um, homework. The two subjects we did today was the different drive modes as well as the depth of field. So you should have already done the drive modes. If you pause this video, if not, go do it right now. Take your tripod with you so you can do um, your timered um, drive mode. Also the continuous shutter drive mode, so the continuous shoot. So you're just going to hold down your shutter button and it's just going to shoot, 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 shoot while you're um, shooting an action sequence and it's going to freeze all of your um, pictures and so there isn't any blur, which is really nice during a sports event. Also just a single shot drive mode. So go ahead and get that done. Get your um, depth of field exercise done, just 25 um, of zooming out, these 25 photos of zooming in, and then you don't forget to download them to your computer under class 4. You're beginning photography and we already reviewed how to download that to your computer. And that's it guys. I'll see you later. Bye.